Hey guys, I'm Lauren Hepes, and today is Tuesday. So that means I bring you tips on Tuesday that have anything and everything to do with health, fitness, recipes, food, fashion, anything that excites me and that I think will excite you. So today, it's about the butternut squash. Now, I love butternut squash because it's super easy to prep and really easy to bake, and it tastes delicious. Now, butternut squash is high in vitamin B6, in calcium, magnesium, and potassium. So it's super healthy and stocked with all kinds of awesome vitamins and minerals. So let's cut it into it and let's bake it. So what we're gonna do is I prepped, whew, I prepped my oven to 375. Now I washed the outside of the butternut squash just because I know I'm gonna cut into it, so I like to have a clean butternut squash. So we're gonna cut it right down the center. Oh man. There we go. A little tougher than I thought it would be. Ooh. Hmm. I promise I can do this. And I think it's right. I mean, it's been there a while. All right, there we go. We're getting into it. So what you do is you cut it in half. That was a little bit of a struggle. And you can see it's a great bright orange. Now, they're seasoned sides, so you gotta scoop out the seeds. And there's kind of this little stringy skin. You wanna take that out too. Then after you scoop it out, I like to stick it on the pan. I like to spray it or put a little bit of oil just so that it doesn't stick. Oops, grab these strings out. And then, Bake it for, it's gonna take about an hour, depending on the size of your butternut squash. But the way to test it is that you wanna see if you can stick a fork through it. If a fork slides really easily, easily through the butternut squash, then it's ready. So you bake it, stick it in the oven for an hour, maybe try 45 minutes, maybe more. But when it's done, I'm gonna stick this right in the oven. When it's done, it's absolutely amazing. So I, I like to eat it um, as a side dish on the side of fish or chicken. You can cut it up into little cubes. Make sure you take the skin off of the butternut squash and just have it as a side dish. Some people like to mash it up. And then let's say you have leftovers. So you stick it in the fridge and then the next day, an awesome butternut squash salad. So cube it again, put arugula, put craisins, some goat cheese, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil and vinegar for like a little dressing and it's an awesome salad. So that is your butternut squash. Really simple, really easy. 375 for about an hour. Make sure the fork goes right through it and you're done. Oh, maybe you'll be interested in this. One more thing. So, let's see. So calories in butternut squash in for one cup is 63 calories compared to a sweet potato, which I love sweet potatoes, but compared to a sweet potato, 130 calories. So one cup of sweet potato is 130 calories, one cup of a butternut squash is 63 calories. For carbs, calorie, I'm sorry, carbs in a butternut squash is 16.4 grams, and sweet potato is 33 grams. For fiber, the sweet potato does come in higher at four grams when the uh, butternut squash has 2.8 grams. Now sugar, this was really surprising to me. Sugar in a sweet potato is seven grams, when sugar in butternut squash is 3.1. Now to me, butternut squash is so sweet, so, mmm, so good. And I love sweet potatoes too, but I always thought that butternut squash was sweeter than a sweet potato, but it happens to have less sugar. And that's pretty much all the major stats that you need to know. Also, the best thing about butternut squash is you don't really need to season it. I don't put butter on it, salt, or pepper. It's so amazing just the way it is. So thank you so much for joining me. My name is Lauren Hefez. Please subscribe, and I will see you Thursday for your workout. Peace.